Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, we beat the game after a very lengthy credit sequence. In this episode, there's something purple flashing in my room. Oh. Cena wants to talk to you. I collected another Zygarde core. Uh, okay. Yeah, these core moves are memorized by Zarka Cube. Okay. Why is that? I literally have the exact list of everything. I guess it's because it's a core and not like a cell. So it's like one of the bigger ones. Whatever. Anyways, we just picked up the game after last time. Hi. I slept well. Sure. Alola. Salty Breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Shiny coin. Look at that. There's Cantonian Meowth. Meow. Okay. Insinium Z. Primarism. Primarium Z. Now you can power up too with my Pokemon that I don't have. Is Kanto really far away? Assuming it's Hawaii to Japan, yes. Still close enough to visit whenever you want to. It's decided I'm gonna get stronger and stronger and travel the world with my Pokemon. I'm gonna find Lily and my dad. Oh yeah. He's a strong trainer, real strong, but he hated being the son of a Kahuna and everything, so he works far away from Alola these days. He's gonna train himself up at the Battle Tree and then beat me. I will be not doing the Battle Tree. This thing way deep on Pony Island, anyone who's passed the Island Challenge, or is strong enough to anyway, can battle out with their Pokemon or so they say. Let's have the best battle at that Pokemon League sometime, no backing out. Battle Tree is basically this game's battle facility, I'm going to ignore it, because I don't do those things. But if you do it, there's like some sort of battle with uh, red and blue from Kanto, so that's neat. Hey, you. You're the one they call Ulti? I am. A certain interested party sent me here to give you this. You obtained the enigmatic card. I have no idea what this is. You have a look at what it says, but take care when you read it. No one else has to know my visit or that card. Okay. Go to a guest room in an Alcala Motel on Route 8. Okay. How many... I have 41 out of 100 cores and cells. Okay. Good to know. So. My main goal right now is to go out of my way to get all of the thing... all the Zygarde core crystal thingies listed under the time of night. I'm going to ignore everything else for right now and just get the ones listed under night. If I do that, then I will feel confident about whenever I go next time. Because night, for me, has, an act has the actual opportunity to run out. So, for right now, I'm headed to Iki Town. Okay. On the east side of the tree, on the east side of the Mahalo Trail entrance. Oh. Something's going on here. Okay. What's going on here? Alright, so they're just battling for some reason. Alright, is this what it is? I, I guess that's what that was? The Mahalo Trail entrance? Rooms of Conflict entrance? I don't know, whatever. My next... My next mess... My next destination is the Trader School. So I'll meet you guys there. Okay. 
One F in bed right of Meowth is where I find this one. Meowth bed. Gotcha. Not human bed. Okay. Next up, Howly, How, Howly City. Left of the Pokemon Center. So, that's just easy enough to go fly. Here it is. Oh! Well, that's all the nighttime ones that I'm looking for on this island. But I just remembered something else I need to check out. Um... Okay, so, uh, once you become the champion, go to the QR scanner. No. Hey, look, it's my keyboard. <laughs> you can now see what's actually going on. Okay, so, I have a Bullipedia page open. Uh, which one of these is American? The middle one, okay. That's not the middle one, that one. There's no square on my screen, so I'm just going to hit the R button. Hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm doing the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon one. <laughs> okay. I was like, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Oh, hello. So. Can I get these other ones, too? While I'm here? Oh, these are just... They don't give you the Pokémon. They're just activating an event. Okay. So, how exactly does this event work now? I'm curious. Okay, so I need... It is in this city, so I'm impressed that, like... I just need to figure out where the Antiquities of the Ages store is. And I also need to make space for it in my party. Okay, I think it's this. Somewhere around here-ish, maybe? Or the Grimer. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Yes, I wash every day. Okay, so something's going on here. I can't, you can't, you have to do, that's really annoying. I just want a fucking legendary Pokemon. That's all I'm here for. And instead I have to deal with a Grimer. I don't want to do this. I don't even actually know if this is the right spot. All I got told was east of the Pokemon Center.
All right, three more. Yeah, okay. Sure. I'm having fun. A big surprise. Joy. I don't see anything else. It's not- you can't go in these other rooms, so... That's- that one's just rude. Okay. I wonder if anyone's ever gotten stuck here. Gonna mash the A button around. While I run around. I don't see anything immediately. God, why are these so rude? Finally. Can I go to the antique store now? We get a TM for that. Awesome. Lovely. I did not make a mess. Okay. Is this the antique store? No. There it is! Could've just talked to you and not done any of that. Fine. Thank you. Alright, so this is Majorna. It's a mythical Pokemon. Or Magirna. I don't know. It's a mythical Pokemon. Its mechanized body is merely a vessel. Its true self is its soul heart, an artificial soul. I will name it... Uh... I'll name it... I'll name it Clockwork. Sure. You don't often get to name Mythicals, so I'll take the opportunity while I can. So you can do this at any point you want to. It's one of the few Mythicals that's just flat out available. All you need is the QR code, so if you just go to Bulbapedia, bing bang boom, you're done. So... There you go. It has a bottle cap. Does that mean I could do like that hyper trainee thing that got mentioned? I don't really know what all that's about, but... Oh, only level 100 Pokemon. Okay. Alright, well, I have a bottle cap and I'm not going to use it for anything. Whatever. Alright, now that that's done, I'm going to go back to collecting my things. So I'll meet you guys at the location of the next nighttime Zygarde thing that I'm missing.
Okay. Here's one I definitely missed, because in this place, the Mali Community Center, and I never went there. Here we go. This is on the third island, by the way. So, in here. Okay, so the... I cleared up all the night ones of the previous island on, just flat out on my own, so that was nice. So, the next one I'm looking for is an Hokulani Observatory. Yep, here we go. On the left side of the hallway over here is this one. Okay. Neat. The next one is on the way down this way. Which means I might run into some trainers, but I didn't do anything. But I didn't go down this far in this pathway originally, because, you know... Because of the mini ores that happened. So... On the side of the dirt path in the east, southeast of Black Belt Clayton. Is that the right place? No, that's Route 10. I'm looking for Route 11. Okay, I'm in the wrong spot then. It was probably up here. So at Aether Paradise, if you go on the outside of it at night, well, there's an item over there for one. Uh, says by the pools outside there should be a nighttime Zygarde Cube, and I'm pretty certain I did not get this one. Yeah, there it is, Sparkling. Alright, you're a nighttime exclusive one. Okay. The only nighttime exclusive one here. Hmm, there's a whole lot of parts. on Pony Island that I have not done anything before. So, hmm. Alright, well, Pony Wilds is where I'm going next. Oh, a cutscene's happening. Hi. I'm literally trying to do that right now. You're slowing me down. Oh! You're just gonna Mega Evolve for me with five Pokemon. Okay! This is... actually gonna be kind of a problem, probably, because you're, like, level 60. Why did... There were no changes. Okay. Are you just a psychic type user? Am I just gonna be able to spirit track all of these things? I'm okay with that if that's the case. I don't like that you have Ice Beam, though. What is he gonna try and Mega Evolve? He didn't Mega Evolve Slowking. I guess it's Slow Rose the one that's the Mega Evolution, not Slowking? I don't know. I've never used that as Pokemon, so I don't know. I'm not a Mega Expert. Well, wow. 
that's annoying. But it seems like this is just a psychic trainer. So. Okay. Metagross. That's probably what's getting up about to Mega Evolve, huh? Or not. I survived the Meteor Mash. You did not survive the Meteor Mash. So, what the hell are you gonna Mega Evolve then? What even has a psychic type mega evolution? Alakazam? Alakazam. All right. This is actually kind of gonna kill me, isn't it? You didn't toss it out, okay. Well, at least I poisoned you. I'm just gonna let whatever happens, happens. Okay! Maybe I'll get lucky again. I got lucky again. You and Anne, you're the best. Okay. So, all I'm thinking about during this is that I really didn't play this game after the post-game, huh? Originally. Cause, like... Way back... Way back when... Um... Looks like I got this one already. Um, way back when, when I did my original blue Let's Play, and I played to fight against Tor, and I tried to use, like, Mega Beedrill in my fight against him. And, like, I just didn't have the Mega Ring. That's how you get the Mega Ring. You just go this direction. And you get stopped. And I didn't do that. Kind of embarrassing, honestly. Anyways, the only other thing left... 
The only other two left are in Pony Plains and Resolution Cave. There's gonna be trainers here, so I'm gonna go back and heal up. Okay, well I was gonna cut this guy out, but he has a Pokemon we actually haven't seen yet, Turtonator. I think it's like water dragon or fire dragon or something. I don't know. If it's water, I'm gonna hit it with leaf blade. Okay, it's probably fire then. So yeah, I was gonna just cut this dude out who was staring out the window earlier, but yeah, he 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 has a thing that's worth actually showing. Oh boy. I'm still faster than him though, so. Goodbye, Turdinator. Plump. Okay. And who else do they have? Drampa! Another dragon type that we have not seen yet. I'll hit it with a play rough. Okay. I am over level for this one guy, at least, so, like, it doesn't matter, but still. Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Still worth showing off. So, my goal is to go through this area and just go for the things that are nighttime related, but I will grab other things that I can find if I find anything worth showing, worth grabbing. But yeah. Pony Plains is where I need to head. Not Pony Grove. Oh, but here's a... Here's, here's one. So... Might as well try and grab these while I'm here, actually. The other one there says that the east end of the grove. So. Uh, how did... I I'm sorry. Is that guy just blind? I walked literally right through him. Whatever. That's Pony Grove. It's now in Pony Plains. I can see one all the way over here. Oh, something's attacking me from the bush. Ah, oh, Scyther's attacking me from the bush. Hi. That's a very high-powered Scyther. Damn. Okay, uh... Things are gonna be strong here, aren't they? I hope my repels are gonna actually work. Okay, well, there's this one in Pony Plains. So I think this is the corner of land east from Train Crypt Sign North Post Road entrance. Record to that. Up, oh, yeah, it was to the east of the trainer tip sign. And there's a trainer tip sign. So yeah, okay. So that was the one that was nighttime exclusive. I don't care about you. 
So what I'm looking for now is Pony Meadow. Which I guess might be this way? No, this is for something else. I've never been over here before, so I'm not really sure is the thing. What does the map say? Bro Tom, I want to look at the map. Because Resolution Cave is the only other nighttime exclusive one. I can look for everything else later. I don't know. The map doesn't really help me here. Does this tell me? Pony Meadow. Okay, this way. Gotcha. The wild Pokemon here are strong. Good to know. It's a petal and I'm weak within it? Oh lordy. Well, Yunnan is higher level. So. That might help a little. Is there a thing in Pony Meadow? In the north on a ledge south of the entrance to Resolution Cave. Sparkles, not yellow ones. It's that. Okay. So this brings me to Resolution Cave as well. So I can get that on the way back, actually. So interior on the right side of the path between the entrance and the raised platform. That doesn't mean much to me right now. much to say, I'm just kind of, like, taking it in. Oh, boy. This could be a problem. Okay, you only have one Pokemon. That's less of a problem. It's an Emolga. What even Pokemon do I have out front? You, Nan. Okay. Alright, so this isn't too bad, actually. I'll just fling through it a couple times and we'll probably die. I was just concerned initially, you know? Yeah, alright. Okay. Yep. So... Ooh, 
There's probably wild Pokemon in here, so yes, Max Repel. Terrain Extender, okay. Probably useful for a Tapu. Oh! I'm looking for how to get to where I need to be. Ah! Okay, well, that guy killed Nihilas and has nothing else. But I found a star piece, okay. I don't know where to go in this area. Oh, is this the interior? This might be the interior, okay. Adrenaline orb? Wait. Light ball. That's for Pikachu. I recognize this cave layout, though. This is the Zygarde cave. This is Terminus cave. But it's Resolution Cave. And right where you'd find a Zygarde is a Zygarde. Okay, well... The one in the pathway down here was the nighttime one. Uh, that's also the last nighttime one. So, I'm actually free to leave, and I can worry about everything else later, basically. Oh, hey, Earthquake. You're hidden late in the game. Alright, so, I don't know how long this was. This might not even be the end of the episode. All I know is that this is the end of my session for right now, because I'm a little tired and I want to move on. So, uh, I'm gonna be done. With the game for now. And I'll pick this up next time for me. And if this is the end of the episode for you guys, then cool. If it isn't, then cool. Either way, I'm probably next immediately going to go for, uh... Tapus. So I'm gonna head to the Ruins of Hope and see if I can catch a thing. I don't know if there's anything I need to do beforehand, though, but I'll find out. Anyway, I got all of the... All of the things that were exclusive to nighttime. So that's the important part. So next time I do more of the hunting, I can do it at any point. So, I guess so long as it's in the day at any point. But I don't... I won't need to worry about, like, time frame is the thing anymore. Because either it's daytime or it's fine. Like, I don't need to, like, worry that I'm going to take too long and thus I won't be able to get the nighttime one. I'll have to do it another day. That's That was my main worry. Now if, I, now if it takes too long, I'll be fine is the point. But yeah. Next time I play, I'll be going for the Tapu. Future Ulti will get to decide if it's a new video or not. Because I'm doing things so weirdly cut up and segmented that, like, honestly, I'm probably just going to let Future Ulti decide the entirety of the bonus content as far as, like, how episodes are organized. So, I'll leave myself here. See you guys next time. Or not. I don't know.